just I want to say today, uh, book of Deuteronomy, chapter 2, verse 7. In this Bible, it says, the Lord, your God, has blessed you in all work. That means our God is not saying, I am going to bless. It has already blessed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. It is blessed. This Amen. is what, you know, that one, in, one, in a same, one printout copy, the photo copy, you can see the book of Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. We are blessed with all the spiritual blessings. It is said, it has already blessed in the Old Testament. Our God is confirming one more time to Jesus Christ. You are already blessed with all the spiritual blessings. Amen. So, no need to do uh, to get any more blessings in your life. Praise the Lord. You are already blessed. We are already chosen. We are appointed at, at his kingdom. Praise the Lord. Now, to know more about this God and relax and receive everything in your life more and more. This is Amen. It. We are already blessed. That means the Lord, your God has blessed you in all the work of your hands. Praise the Lord. He has watched over your journey through this vast wilderness. This 40 years, the Lord your God has been with you and you have not lacked anything. This 40 years means you have to think it over today. How, at what time you are born again and baptized praise from that time till now. Uh, before born again also, our God is leading you from that time and until this time today, until our death, our God will lead you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that I want to say, because of your one failure, you are praying to God to get something in your life, but you didn't receive. Or because of this reason, never stand against God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that think Amen. it over how much more our God has fulfilled your prayer answer in your life. Uh, you know that one. Just to look at, just to go back, check up your diary. Praise the Lord. So because of this reason, give and praise and thanks to the Lord each and every day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that I'm, I'm looking my 2020, 2020, by the grace of God, we have started this revival meeting. And now still this ongoing, it, it will never stop. Praise the Lord. Even if in between, when I am traveling in the different countries to preach the gospel, it will go ahead. Praise the Lord. Somebody will do in behalf of us this revival meeting. Praise the Lord. We cannot stop that one. We cannot stop God's work. <laughs> so that everybody, each and every people, we had to continuously we had to do the God's work. Our God, if you, when you are activate, um, when you are actively, when you are doing the gospel work, our God will give you new knowledge, new wisdom and everything. You know that one, we have got the wisdom than the King Solomon the last year, the, 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 the Old Testament. Old Testament, he has got the greatest wisdom than any other prophets in the Old Testament, all the characters in the Old Testament. But in the New Testament, the wisdom is in our heart. That's what the Christ is in you, the hope of glory. That means we have got the greatest wisdom than the King Solomon. That means wisdom of God is sitting in our heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that um, automatically, whenever you are asking to the Lord, automatically this wisdom will generate from the Lord, it hand over to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So uh, thank you very much. People are watching online. We are blessed with all the spiritual blessings. So we let us pray one minute. After praying, sister will be singing the song. Let us raise our hand. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each one of them, especially if the people are watching online Lovely and people are here in this world. Heavenly Father, bless them, Father, keep them in glory spiritually and physically all the earth. Heavenly Father, once again more, I pray for all the people right now, people are watching online. During the time of sharing this word of God, during the time of this praise and worship, thank you for your touching each and every people, their heart, their mind, so that they can come back to the Lord and do at your uh, kingdom. The work of the Lord. Heavenly Father, once again, more I pray for all the team, those who join here. I pray for Pastor Reverend Dennis and Sami join from South Africa. I bless all the people from African countries. I pray for our sister Sharon join from India. I pray for all the people from Asia, Africa, North and South America, and all the countries. I bless them. Thank, Thank you, Holy Spirit, for taking control of this session. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for sending all, you are sending all the heavenly angels here in this session. Once again, more I pray for me, I pray for everybody. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Prayer is first part. Okay. Pray. Whenever I pray, I'm seeing the miracle. That's what okay. So that prayer is so powerful. Even if a single prayer is, it will, you know, that you can see the fruit. Okay. Today, today, Sometimes our God will do the miracle at the same time. Sometimes a little bit later. We don't know. It's a miracle is belong to God. Prayer is our duty. Miracle is doing the God's duty. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, Sister Sharin, uh, you are invited. 
Thank you for joining here. Praise the Lord. Shake the nation in your case, inviting you to lead the praise and worship. I know 30 minutes left. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us worship the name of the Lord and let us sing that how great is our God and how great is his, his power and the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, how together they are one and how they <clears throat> work in our life. Because his name is above all name and nothing is greater than his name and because he is worthy of our prayers. Hallelujah. So let us sing this song and just wor worship the name of the Lord. The splendor of how great is our God. We run him above all things. Worthy of our prayers. My heart will sing how great is our God. You are name above all things. You are worthy of our praise. And my heart will sing how great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God and always sing how great how great is our God hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah thank you Lord thank you thank you Jesus hallelujah thank you Lord thank you Jesus let us worship the name of the Lord and just pray, give praises to his name Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. We adore you, Father. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Let us sing one more song. It says, O oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonders consider all the works thy hands have made. Thank you, Jesus. Let us consider that what God has made for us. Our Heavenly Father who makes the heaven and the earth, the waters and the sun and the stars and the moon, such a great power he has. So he has power to create. So he can also create us again and again. He can also lift us up high and he will always care for us. He will always be for us. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the words thy hands have made, I see the stars. I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God, his son not sparing, Sent he to die, I sons can take it in. 
that on the cross my burden gladly bearing he bleed and died to take away my sin then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art then to the world and for his glads i wonder and hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees when i look down from lofty mountain grandeur and hear the brooks and feel the gentle peace then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come, with shout of acclamation, and take me home. What a joy shall my heart that I shall bow in humble adoration and then proclaim, My God, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great the world, how great the world, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great the world, how great the how great the world, how great the Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Such a wonderful and mighty Lord we serve. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, this is my desire. This is our desire, Lord. To worship you, to honor you, Lord. We give our heart and we give our soul to you alone, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is my desire to honor you, Lord, with all my heart, I worship you, and Jesus, all I have within me, I give you. All that I adore, it's in you. Lord, I give you my soul. I give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I am awake. Lord, have your way in me. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I am in. 
Lord, have your way in me. This is my desire to honor you. Lord, with all my heart, I worship you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You have your way in me, Lord. Because, Father, you are the way maker, Lord Jesus. You are the miracle worker, Father. You are the promise keeper, Master. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, walking in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in our hearts. I worship you. I worship you. For you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are here. Touching every heart, I worship you, I worship you. You are here, healing every heart, I worship you, I worship you. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you, I worship you. You are here, you are mending every house. I worship you, I worship you. You are way maker, miracle worker. Promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory and honor, Lord, this morning. We just commit the servant of yours into your mighty hand, Lord. And we just pray, Lord, let your Holy Spirit lead them and guide them as they bring the word of yours, the revelation of yours, the, the words of your heart, Lord, through their words, Father, towards our heart, Father Jesus. Let it connect, Lord, to, to you again and again, Father. Help us, O oh Lord, from all, O oh Lord, our infirmities, O oh Lord, our afflictions, all our problems, all our situations, O oh Lord, because, O oh Father, you are greater than that, O oh Lord Jesus. You, Lord, break and crush, Lord, every plan, and, O oh Lord, the, the devil, O oh Lord, which try to attack us, you demolish, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father. Thank you, Father. When the word is coming, O oh Lord Jesus, prepare our hearts and soul, Father, to receive it, Lord, and accept it and walk accordingly, Father Jesus. Thank you, Master. We pray for the shake, the nation's prayers and the ministry which you have given to Pastor Jolly, Lord. Right now, Jesus, we open up the heaven and just pour out your blessing over him. We pray for Pastor Nat and Sami, Lord Jesus. Bless him, Lord, with your heavenly, Lord Jesus, uh, health and your 
uh, blessings and your anointing over his life, his ministry, his church, and his uh, family, Father. We just open the spiritual Lord of yours over his life, Lord. And yes, Jesus, use him mightily and mightily for your glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We can give wonderful God to Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. May our God bless you, our sister, Sharon. God bless you more and more. In Jesus' name, I pray. We can pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for sister right now. I pray for India. I pray for sister Sharon. I pray for everybody, those who are doing this worship. Heavenly Father, bless them, Father. Give them a glory. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. Uh, on the 30 minutes time, Reverend Dhanesh Narayan Swami will be sharing the word. Before that, just I want to encourage you, each and every people. This is what. One thing um, I want to say, we, should, we have to keep uh, in your mind. That's what. Uh, the second Peter chapter 1, verse 3, Bible says, saying that his divine power has granted you, granted to us. Granted, it's not going to grant you, but it's already granted. It is given. Okay, granted as all things in pertain to life and godness through the knowledge of him that called us by his own glory and virtue. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bible says our God has already granted. It is given. How our God has given all the things for, you know, the most of the people are thinking, I want to live in this world. I want to survive everything. I don't have money. I don't have things. I don't, I'm poverty. I know that one. I don't have knowledge. I know that one. I don't have health and everything. Bible says in his divine power, through his divine power, it has already granted for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is what the Bible says. Okay. Now what, what you have to do? What you have to do it? You have to knowledge. You should have the knowledge in that one. You have to tell to your mind. I cannot I live in this, you know, that one, uh, in this poverty today. Right? So you have to command and you have to cast out all kind of spirit of poverty. The spirit of witchcraft, the, the, the spirit, the, well, the things which is coming against your life. We have to bind. We have to cast out right now. This is what our God has given you, the authority and power. Nowadays, in this person, after the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ cannot come and help you directly. No. Our God is handed over his power and authority. Now we have holding the authority and power. We have to use. The more you use the authority and power in you, the things it will change in your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are not using the people, most of the people are praying for 30 years, 20 years, and 10 years, 3 years to get the blessings. After 30 years, 20 years, people are not getting any blessing. You will be the same spiritual level. You will, you are, so you, you will be the same position. How it happened like that? After that, most of the people, you know, some people, they are saying something against God. Oh, I'm not getting any improvement. I'm not getting blessing. You did a greatest work. Praise the Lord. Our God cannot help you. Our God today is using his man of God and woman of God, all his children. Our God is handed over his authority and power. We have to use, we have to make a new way and go it. Our God is with our God is saying, I will be with you till the end of the world. Praise the Lord. I will be. This is what our God is saying. So that in the Old Testament and all the children of Israel. You know, you know, when they came out from the land of Egypt to the promised land of Canaan, after, after the time of Moses, Joshua, he has taken over the, the control of all the children of Israel by the gods. Praise the Lord. That uh, what happened, you know, that one, um, Joshua, he was not sitting uh, by himself. He was praying to the Lord. He was using their, they were doing something by their hand. Our God was not at all giving the promised land, uh, you know, that one, um, to the children of Israel. You just go and take it. No. They were fighting against their enemies by the sword. Am I right? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The same way, the sword of the New Testament, that is the name of Jesus Christ, our God, given you the power and authority to fight against the devil. Praise the Lord. The more you fight, you see the victory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How you can fight? You should have the knowledge in Christ Jesus. That is the book of Isaiah, Bible says, chapter uh, 60, Bible says, arise and shine. You should get the knowledge for the glory of the Lord has come upon to you. Praise the Lord. You have to arise. You should have the knowledge. But that's what the Bible says. Okay. Every, our God is saying, everything I have given to you. Praise the Lord. The day by day, whenever you are getting this knowledge, whenever you are saying, commanding all these things to go up, out which is coming against your life, maybe sickness and everything, and to pray, it will never go from you. You have to pray and keep uh, wait for the Lord. God needs your sanctification. 
praise the lord hallelujah most of the people are not receive the healing the why wait you are not receive the healing our god want to increase you by faith in one way in another way sometimes you know god need your sanctification in another way god want to use your to your kingdom praise the lord more and more so it is getting little bit delay but it will happen one day praise the lord hallelujah we have to put our trust trust in god god it then our god has told you so that it is in a, when i am saying uh, my gospel revival not not the god has given me the uh, you know the grace to do this gospel revival the most of the time most of the time i am preaching the gospel i am alone i was alone praise the lord i will never wait for anybody when i am going in my nature i am saying okay when i am going to street and the, uh, maybe some people call can you join with anulay i am go i will go i will go and preach the gospel my nature is not like that whether people are there or not people are coming with me or not i will go praise the lord hallelujah i will put the petrol in the car i will even if, even if i don't know the place where should i preach praise the lord i will take the google map i will take the city center name i will go and park the car there i will preach wherever i am seeing that place okay this is what i am doing i will never wait for the people praise the lord hallelujah so the, when i am preaching when i was preaching that new cities our god is connecting new people most of the cities okay 90 more than 90% cities when i was preaching the gospel nobody is preaching the gospel after that when i was going the second time some people they are preaching the gospel praise the lord hallelujah it's a grace of god the seed when you are sowing the seed the seed will grow praise the lord hallelujah now this gospel day but sometimes in nobody was there praise the lord so that should i stop this gospel day no that should we have to do our duty our god will come with you praise the lord we have to do our duty then our god will do his duty praise the lord continuously i have to do the gospel work never wait for anybody praise the lord sometimes you will be alone not sometimes most of the times everybody will leave you will leave you everybody will neglect you most of the people you will be alone but never give up the vision which our god has given to you praise the lord keep hold that vision vision got it then final victory will be yours praise the lord bible says you are planted and rooted in christ jesus you are well watered places praise the lord hallelujah that's what i have said um so each and every people um i want to say if you are in christ jesus praise the lord hallelujah um uh, only one thing i want to say uh, to all the people uh, um our god is looking at you you are the fruit the fruit poor person the world people reject you the world people isolate you but our god is looking at you when our god is looking at you, your face praise the lord your heart our god is saying book of another uh, book of genesis chapter 49 how our god has said uh, to the um, um, joseph that uh, that is when joseph is a fruitful vine a fruitful vine near the a spring praise the lord whose branches uh, climb over a wall praise the lord with bitterness and curses attacked him praise the lord hallelujah they shot uh, at him with hostility but his bow remained steadily his strong arm stayed limp because of the hand of the mighty one of jacob because the uh, shepherd the rock israel praise the that means okay the world people are thinking joseph he was nothing but jesus christ is when jesus christ is looking bible says okay you are the strong man you are the mighty man through you our god want to do greatest things in your life praise the lord through you our god want to do the revival in your country in your place without you our god cannot do anything praise the lord our god do want much people our god is having 12 disciples out of 12 disciples 11 disciples praise the lord hallelujah our god has raised this disciple through this disciple our god has shaken the nations today you should come to know how many church members you have how many people are standing surrounding place of you praise the lord so that through you our god want to do a great revival the authority and power is there in your hand praise the lord take this use take and use this authority then you can do an extraordinary miracle in your life praise the through in christ jesus so that i want to say i want to encourage in this early morning in the uk in this morning in african countries in all the european countries in morning in india in the mid afternoon praise the lord hallelujah in the usa in the early morning praise the lord at 3 am the 4 am like that in australia in the night i want to say to all the people the different time zone i want to say to all the people our god it has already blessed and anointed you to preach this gospel to everybody our god has already appointed you to spread this salvation to everybody praise the lord our god has already given you the authority and power to go ahead 
whatever you want to do, you to do it. Bible says, okay, in your weakness, the power of the Lord is going to come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that each and every people, nothing to worry, anything about your life. Do something for God. Today, 24 hours a day, it's already, you know, that one, how many hours left? How many hours still there? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You should come here to calculate. If you are, you know, that, um, 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 after today, 12 hours in a day time, if our God is giving today, basically, if you are uh, misusing that the hours, we will never get that at the same hours later on. No, praise the Lord. That is over. So that each and every day, we have to use our time very clearly. Spend with our God. Praise the Lord. Minimum time, read the Bible and preach the gospel. Praise the Lord. We have to be quiet, a little bit time with the God. Then our, we can hear the God's voice. Praise the Lord. Each and every day, we have to um, so, um, make a lot the time for the gospel work. Praise the Lord. So that then only all the heavenly angels and dead people are waiting to uh, preach this gospel, but they are not allowed. But you are worthy to receive and preach this gospel. Take Jesus Christ's name in your tongue. Praise the Lord. So that every people, each and every people, use your time very well and most of the time with the gospel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This God will raise you. This God will establish you. Bible says um, you are water. Now, that's what I told you. Okay? You are watered and planted in Christ Jesus. So nobody can, praise the Lord. And your, your house is already built on the rock of Jesus Christ. That, you know, that uh, the waves will come, praise the Lord. Lots of storms will come. But this cannot destroy your life because you are watered and planted. You are in Christ. You are built in Christ Jesus. So that never look at you are alone. The end air heavenly, uh, you know that one end air heaven is with you today. Praise the Lord. So that uh, let us pray one minute. We can hear this word of God from the man of God right now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, can I pray for each one of them, especially Heavenly Father, because of this encouraging word. Heavenly Father, thank you for you are giving that touching everybody's heart and mind. Heavenly Father, bless each one of them during the time of hearing this word of God. And the 30 minutes time, uh, Pastor uh, Reverend Dennis Sarans, I'm share this word of God. Bless everybody, Father, because of this word of God. Thank you for healing that sick people, touching everybody's heart and mind and body. Heavenly Father, once again, more I pray for each one of them. In Jesus' name, Mother. Amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. So, um, Sister Shani, if you want, you can sing one more song. Uh, or Hindi or anything. If you want, you can sing one song. Okay. Just. <clears throat> yes. Let us sing one song. I'll, I'll sing in uh, Hindi. Just a second. Okay. Megao Hallelujah. Mere shatruo ke beech me. Megao Hallelujah. Avishwas ke samne Main gao hallelujah Ye dun mera tiyar hai Main gao hallelujah Swarg mere liye lade
रहस्य जाप घेरे मुझी मैं गाऊ हाल लोया डर कहा के नहीं मुझ पे गाऊंगा तूफानों के बीच ऊंचा तेरे महिमा के नामुमकिन में से जागे उम्मी मृत्यु है जिंदा है बसी आवाज जाओ मेरे शत्रुओं के बीच में आवाज उठाओ अविश्वास के सामने आवाज उठाओ ये धुन मेरा हथियार है आवाज उठाओ स्वर्ग मेरे लिए लड़े मैं गाऊ हाल लो मैं गाऊ हाल लो मैं गाऊ हाल लो मैं गाऊ हाल लो Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now uh, we can hear the powerful word of God from uh, Reverend Dennis and Aunt Sammy. God bless you. Thank you for joining here. So, and at 30 minutes time, Pastor will be sharing this powerful, encouraging word to everybody, all the world people, all the people are watching online. I want to encourage you all the people. Share this word of God. Praise the Lord. This will be a blessing for you. Praise the Lord. So, Sheikh Dennis and Yuki is inviting. worship and praise that has come before the nostril of god it has been blessed this morning and our spirits are lifted up and you know jesus said if i be lifted up i will draw all men unto me and this is what we are doing this morning we are lifting the name of jesus hallelujah and in doing so god is going to draw all men in respect of what color creed there may be a what walks of life they are coming hallelujah that god is going to add into the kingdom of god hallelujah pastor jolia thank you for this great words that you have ministered this morning uh, it it has lifted my spirit uh, it, it it boosted my spirit to say well uh, you are so busy involved in the ministry and you still have time to give to the lord when you get up early hours of the morning and you know when i pray and that's my time at 1 up past 1 in the morning to seek the face of god and pray for the servants of god that god will use them miraculously and use them most powerfully under the anointing and god given power that they will have great breakthroughs in the ministry this morning i greet you one and all from south africa and i want you this morning wherever you are listen to the word of god this morning i am privileged to minister to exhort and to teach the word of god hallelujah if you uh, are with me this morning the bible says in jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 and 13 for i know the thoughts that i think towards you now what god is saying i know he knows the thoughts of his mind what he is thinking against you hallelujah say the lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end what a wonderful and powerful 
God this is. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, his thoughts are peace against you. In other words, you want, he wants you to be, live a peaceful life, a sanctified and a dedicated life unto God. He says, well, he thinks no evil about you. Hallelujah. Isn't that great? People will think evil about you. We will think evil about others and also evil about God because we have no fear in us. But God is saying, I have no evil thoughts against you. Let it be known to you. And he said, I give you an expected end. Hallelujah. Uh, end, hallelujah, with joy, with peace, happiness, and you're going to uh, continue in the glory of God. Hallelujah. If I have to title my message this morning, I will title it as God's plan and purpose for mankind. God's plan and purpose for mankind. So therefore, he goes on to say, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Let it be done unto you. You know, sometimes we want to compete with God and say, well, God thinks uh, like how we think. No, sir. No, madam. Hallelujah. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways. Say the Lord. Declares the Lord. As the heavens are I, they're higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. There you have it. So we cannot compare ourselves to God. Hallelujah. But this morning, the thought of God, hallelujah, that, uh, you know, brings, uh, 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 you know, grace unto his children. We need to think also wisely. Hallelujah. We should be in the same realm. We should be thinking like how God thinks. Hallelujah. But how does this come? We need to live a dedicated, God-fearing life so that we can have a closer walk with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And then he says, for I know the plans I have for you. God got great plans for you and I. Hallelujah. Now, irrespective of how far we are distant, how far are we thinking? But God says, I have plans for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, hallelujah, and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. There's only hope in Christ Jesus, my friends. If you are listening to me, there is only hope. In Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And there's a great future in Christ Jesus. If only we can be obedient to the word of God. He says, well, when you shall call upon me and you shall go and pray unto me, I will hearken unto you. You see that? When you are God-fearing and uh, when you do the commandments of God, when you follow the portions of scripture and you believe in God, he says then, when you call upon my name and go and pray, I will listen. I will hearken unto you, your voice. Hallelujah. And you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. Hallelujah. So what God is saying here, when you come before me, let your life be in order. Hallelujah. When God looks, on, uh, looks to you, when he looks at your heart, he finds that your heart is clean, it is pure. He also finds that you have nothing against your brother 
or your sister, but you are abiding in the goodness of the Lord. So when you call upon his name, he will definitely answer you. Hallelujah. Now, how many times have you gone to pray unto the Lord and you found out nothing seems to be happening? You say to yourself, well, God uh, uh, never heard me. Hallelujah. But let me tell you, friends, this morning, when you come before God in prayer, we are to believe that he is there. Hallelujah. You need to be diligent in everything. You need to believe. You need to live in righteousness. Hallelujah. And you must just follow what the Spirit of God tells you to do. Because the Bible says, out of the abundance of your heart, hallelujah, the Spirit of God will witness, will speak it out, hallelujah, and you make a confession unto God, hallelujah. Bless his holy name. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 27, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. Amen. So let the love of God be greater in your life because the Bible says that everything will work together for good. Why? He says, because you love the Lord and also those who are called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. So God has purposed in his heart to call you to preach the word, call you to give him worship, to call you to do things in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That was a purpose and a plan for God. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 57 and verse 2 says, I cry out to God, the most high. Hallelujah. There is nobody above that. He is the most high. He is supreme. He is God. He is the beginning. He is the end. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We need to understand that. So if he is the beginning and the end, there is no other. Glory to God. God will fulfill his purpose for me. Hallelujah. God who fulfills his purpose for me. Hallelujah, my friends. This morning, I always pray and say, Lord, let your purpose be in my life. Let your desire be my desire. So whatever you desire of me, let it be done. Glory to God. And this is how the psalmist is praying unto God. This is key in understanding God's purpose. It is a key to understand God's purpose in your life. Glory to God. God has numbered your days and will fulfill every purpose he has for you. Let it be known unto you. Every purpose that God has desired for you, he will fulfill it. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So he goes on to say, however, our choices and actions also really matters. Amen. Glory to God. Our choices and our actions also really matters to God. Take note. Amen. So anything that is God's purpose for you, God will fulfill his purpose he has for you. Let it be known unto you. Amen. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We were created with the intent of abundance. Abundant living. That's what God created us for. We're coming to that. He says fruitfulness and growth. 
multiplication and expansion. Hallelujah. These also include stewardship of society and care for the natural world. Hallelujah. As much as we preach the gospel, Bible says he has structured us in such a way according to his purpose that his will shall be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. So therefore, whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Take note. That's the purpose of God in your life. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. The Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 1, verse 27 and 28. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. That's the creation of God. You must be wondering, why am I taking you there this morning? Hallelujah. Because we are living uh, in the days, uh, you know, uh, days when we are looking into the New Testament. But let me tell you this morning, this is God's creation. And the Bible says, God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. Replenish the earth and subdue it. That's a point I'm making to you this morning. That was the intent of God's abundant living for mankind. Hallelujah. To bless them. That they be fruitful. Multiply. Replenish the earth. Subdue it. And have communion over the fish of the sea. Over the fowls of the air and over every living thing that moveth on the face of the earth. Do you see that? That was God's mankind. Hallelujah. So, therefore, we see that. And he goes on to say in Genesis chapter 9 and verse 7, And you be ye fruitful and multiply. Bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein. Hallelujah. It's all about abundant. Hallelujah. Multiply. Hallelujah. It says, add on. There is no subtraction in the word of God here. It's multiply, fruitful, abundance. Hallelujah, there where you are living. Glory to God. Throughout the word of God, the cry of God's heart is, is desire for us to be his people and for him to be our God. That's God's desire. Hallelujah. That we shall be called the children of the most high God. And for him, to be our God. Remember, he's your God. He's your savior. He died for you. Hallelujah. And today, we are the children of the most high God. Hallelujah. Amen. He created us for himself, but he also created us with a free will. We can choose to love or not to love him. Hallelujah. But my word or encouragement to you this morning, love the Lord with all thine heart. Hallelujah. And fulfill the desires of your heart. There you have it. God is a God and he works all things. Amen. Including your life according to his purpose. Hallelujah. Not in any man's purpose, not in your own purpose, but in the purpose of God, that God has worked everything. Hallelujah. And let me tell you, nothing can happen without God ordaining it. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Nothing can happen without God ordaining his purpose in your life. Glory to God. Take note. Proverbs 11, 14 says, where there is no guidance, people fall. But in an abundance of counselors, there is safety. In other words, one of the main ways God will help you find your purpose is through others that preach the word. Hallelujah. You will know that this is how God operates. Men and women that preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, God has purposed in their life. They have been called and chosen to do the will of the Father in heaven. Hallelujah. As I said to you early on, that Jesus said, if my name be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Glory to God. And that's what you have to do. That lift the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Preach Jesus Christ and himself crucified on the cross of Calvary. Let the people know that was a purpose that God had in his heart that he should come and lay down his life for his people and take the sins away of this world. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 10, for by grace you have been saved through faith, the grace of God. Through faith, and not your own doing. It is a gift of God, not the results of works, so that no one may boast for we what he has made us, created Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand be our way of life. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. So God, Jesus, was created and prepared beforehand to be our way of life. Glory to God. Friends, this morning, I hope you are listening to me. Wherever you are, this is the word of God. This is the powerful word of God that will touch your lives, will bring and redeem you from the clutches of the enemy. Now, wherever you are entangled by the forces of the devil, you're going to be loosened in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because God has a purpose for your life. This morning, take note. You cannot run away from God. Hallelujah. You may cover your sins that the world may not know, but God looks at your heart this morning. Repent before you perish. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 and 20. And Jesus came and said to them, all authority in heaven on earth is being given to me. Go ye therefore and make disciples of all the nation, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you this day. And remember, I am with you always to the end of age. This is the word of God that was purposed in God's heart to send you and I to go and preach this powerful gospel to the nations of the world. And that's what we're doing today on this platform, Shake the Nation with the set men of this house. Hallelujah. So that people can hear the word of God. Hallelujah. It doesn't come, come, 
He does not come with compromise. This is reality. This is the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Even as I come to an end, hallelujah, this portion of scripture, and as the psalmist praises the Lord, and that's what we need to do. We need to pray at the, in the morning, at the noon, hallelujah, his praise shall be in our midst, in our mouth, hallelujah, all the time, glorifying God, hallelujah. In doing this, you do not allow for the enemy to come anywhere near you because you are power packed, hallelujah. You have much resistance that when the devil comes, you can resist him and he will flee. He will come one way, but he will flee in seven different ways. Hallelujah. So what am I saying? Don't give the devil a chance to come and minister to you because you have the word of God. You have the ministering angels, hallelujah, around you so you can glorify God and honor him. The Bible says in Psalms uh, 150, Verse 1 to 6, praise ye the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in the firmament of his power. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord, praise he the Lord. Hallelujah. When the trials of this life leave you worn out and weary, singing God's praises will fill your hearts with joy. Lift your hearts to God and allow him to refresh him and renew your spirit. Praise can turn around even the worst day and make your heart feel light. It can boost your spirit and put a smile on your face. Hallelujah. This is God that is speaking to you. You want a smile on your face? You don't need other people to put a smile. Let God put a smile on your face because you're worship, worshiping him in spirit and in truth that everything that you give praise unto God come from within your heart saying, what a great God, hallelujah, that God has purposed in my life to honor, to worship, to praise and edify him all the days of my life. Friends, this morning, I want to leave this message with you. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, my word shall go forth and not return unto me void. It's going to do some work in people's life. Uh, people's lives that are disturbed where they're living a hopeless, uh, rather than living a hopeful life. God is going to do a new thing this morning. Let him allow him to touch your heart. Open your heart's door and say, Lord Jesus, come in me. Come and sub with me and I with you. Hallelujah. He's a great friend. Hallelujah. If you want him to be your friend, he will never leave you nor forsake you. Let us pray. Mighty God and Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for your word. We thank you for your uh, praise and worship. We thank you for the word that came from Lord, your servant, Pastor Jolly. We are all blessed this morning. And the people that are hearing also have been blessed. Father, this morning I pray, draw us ever closer to you. Let us have a closer walk with Jesus. Father, let your purpose be complete in our lives that we present a glorious church. Father, when you look at us, you will see that we are children of the Most High God. Father, fulfill every desire. Let these desires be your desires, Father. And this morning, even as we commit all your people, all your people across the nations of the world, Lord, I pray that you will touch the hearts of the people. Draw them closer to you, Lord, that they will get to know Jesus sooner 
before it's too late. Father, bless this ministry. Shake the nation. Lord, bless your daughter with a praise and worship. Lord, that India will also get to know Jesus sooner. Father, right now, I pray for those people that are sick. I'm well, sick in body. I come against every brain condition, eye condition, ear condition, Lord, liver condition, kidney condition, heart condition, every other condition associated with pain. Uh, Father, this morning, touch, 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 bring healing in the mighty name of Jesus. You said, if any two shall believe, uh, it shall be done. Lord, we are more than two this morning. Uh, and Lord, we know that you're going to touch them even as they will believe and accept Jesus Christ as a personal savior. Father, right now, I pray that you bless the finances of this ministry. Lord, everything that is needed to announce the kingdom of God, you're going to meet with it. Protect the servant of God. Be with him, Lord, uh, even as he's going to, Lord, further this ministry, Father, in bringing other nations, uh, languages. Father, you're going to bless him. And he's going, you're going to lead him, Father, the Spirit of God. Father, anoint him. Great signs and wonders, Lord, will come through. And people shall see the glory of God in man. We thank you. I ask this message in the never-failing name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Over to you, Pastor Jolly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wonderful, matter, powerful word of God. Praise the Lord. This is the nature of God. Thank you for the powerful word of God. Uh, Pastor Adams, uh, the ransom can be powerful. Talk to Jesus Christ. Amen. This is what the pastor was talking. It's on, uh, the nature of Jesus Christ is a multiplication. Praise the Lord. Book of Genesis chapter 9, Amen. verses 1, pastor was talking. That is, and be fruitful and multiply and you our god is saying and you be you fruitful and multiply praise the lord this is what okay multiplication and we have to make more fruits this is a will of god whenever you are making the fruits more fruits in your in your ministry in your preaching gospel preaching and in your whenever you are using your healing gift praise the lord praying for the sick Amen. people when they are receiving the healing people are receiving the healing our god is so much happy in that one that's what the bible says okay what jesus christ has done more than that you should do it to this will of god praise the lord Hallelujah. so that we have to be fruitful and that's what in the book of Acts chapter um, uh, six seven we, church got uh, you know, scattered because grace prosecution but our holy spirit is making more fruitful in that you know that you're using that uh, you know all the other people that uh, you know that philip and other people church got multiply multiplication it was happening wherever prosecution happened praise the lord who is taking the gospel yeah. in the end the prosecution it will come one one side a war will come in one side praise the lord hallelujah in between multiplication mm -hmm. is happening at his kingdom Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is a bill of God. So thank you very much. The other people are watching online. I'm not praying for the sick people already. Pastor prayed. And um, tomorrow, on the weekly, we're not, um, it's only we could all, all receive the healing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Okay. People are watching online. So that if the people, those who are doing something for God, continuous peace of God. Praise the Lord. Hell. If the people are heavy headache. People are watching. Right now. Okay. Headache. People are watching right now. Just raise your heavenly father in the name of Jesus. I pray for the people are watching the headache right now in Jesus. As a headache, that means okay, and this side, this side, something near will be your, uh, you know, that one touching like that. That kind of, you know, that one, uh, you are getting that kind of pain you are getting in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I bind a cast out right now. According Matthew 18, 18, all kind of that painful situation in the name of Jesus. Go right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So our God will do the uh, more miracle. We, we, one day we can do the healing session. Okay, we can take fasting and do it. Okay, that time more healing will happen. Lots of healing will happen. Praise the Lord. So Amen. May God bless you more and more in Jesus' name. So so you can sing one song. We can close this session. Uh, let us sing one song. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Dhanivad ke saan sunte ganga Hai Yeshu me re khuda 
पुकार तेरे बेशुमा कोटि कोटि सुमर के दिया है अपनी दया से तूने मुझे योग्यता सिमर के दिया है अपनी दया से तूने मुझे मांगने से ज्यादा मिला मुझे आभारी हूँ प्रभु में मांगने से ज्यादा मिला मुझे आभारी हूँ प्रभु में धन्यवाद स्तुति गाऊ मेरे खुदा उपकार तेरे बेशुम कोटि कोटि स्तुति धन्यवाद Thank you very much. Okay, thank you for the powerful worship, everybody. Sister uh, Sharon, God bless you. I know you did worship today. Praise the Lord. Reverend Edmund Sanand, some powerful word of God. Praise the Lord. Thank you for Holy Spirit. I used you a uh, lot today. Thank you uh, for all the people are watching. May our God bless you more and more in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. This oh, video is available in YouTube and all the social media platform. Please share it, watch and share, and it will be a blessing for you. And your generations. So may our God bless you more and more. See you tomorrow at the seven p.m. UK time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And God bless you.